The body of one of Mukumbi Samuel Masoke's grandsons has already been recovered from under a landslide in Uganda's Kampala. But he says he can't bury him yet. He's waiting for a second grandson to be pulled from under the mud and debris. I can't just bury the only one they retrieved. I am waiting for them to retrieve the second one so that I may bury them at once. Because we are supposed to bury them in the same village. Transporting them separately will be too costly. I cannot afford it. The tragedy occurred on Friday at the only garbage dump in the Ugandan capital. Torrential rains caused a huge mound of rubbish to collapse, crushing homes on the edge of the site as residents slept. Soke says his missing grandson's motorcycle was found. That is why we are convinced he is right there. That is where he used to stay. On Monday, Uganda police spokesperson Patrick Onyango said 22 bodies had been recovered so far. We still expect more, more, more dead bodies down. But he said that rescue efforts were being hampered by bad weather and that the death toll may yet rise. President Yoweri Museveni has directed the Prime Minister to coordinate the removal of all those living near the landfill site. The government has also launched investigations into the cause of the landslide. The Katizi site has served as Kampala's sole garbage dump for decades. Residents have long complained of hazardous waste polluting the environment and posing a danger to those living nearby. Angola's president, João Lourenço, was in Democratic Republic of Congo on Monday. He met with Congo's president, Felix Tshisekedi, to discuss an ongoing ceasefire in the country's east and efforts to maintain peace in the region. The ceasefire began on August 4th, following talks between Congo and Rwanda, mediated by Angola. Congolese Foreign Minister Therese Kayakwamba Wagner said the two leaders had discussed strategies to strengthen the ceasefire and address ongoing security challenges. And both reiterated and expressed their firm commitment to ensuring that the ceasefire is respected and observed by all the parties that signed it. The two leaders also called for all other ongoing efforts to create an environment conducive to a lasting resolution to the conflict. The ceasefire aimed to halt hostilities between Congolese government troops and the M23 rebel group, but sporadic clashes have continued. Congo, the United Nations, the United States and other Western governments have accused Rwanda of backing M23. Rwanda vehemently denies the accusations that have heavily soured relations with its neighbour. The conflict in North Kivu province has forced more than 1.7 million people to flee their homes. That's contributed to a record 7.2 million displaced persons across the country, according to United Nations estimates, due to various conflicts.